I want to discuss tonight what I call backward-looking people and forward-looking people. But before I begin, I want to acknowledge right up front that this could be seen as an exercise in stereotypes, and I am going to paint with a rather broad brush. But it could also be seen as just examining and contrasting two worldviews. Uh, ideas often go together and reinforce each other, and that more or less constitutes a worldview. And I think there are two worldviews that I'm going to try to describe tonight. So let's begin. Ideal earthly epic. I say earthly because I'm excluding any view of the afterlife. Um, the backward looking person often believes that the ideal epic, the, the ideal time is in the past. For them, if they could have listened to a sermon of Jesus or walked with Buddha or met Muhammad, that would be the, the best time. Um, for the forward looking person, the ideal earthly epic is in the future. We're continually progressing towards a better and better future and therefore it lies ahead. For the backward looking person, they often have a fantasy view of the past based on some unchangeable scripture, which is immune to addition or correction. They believe, for instance, in the Christian context of the Garden of Eden and a worldwide flood and all languages originating in one place. The forward looking person has a view of the past, which accepts the scientific view, which is currently the Big Bang Theory, but importantly, Science updates its belief anytime good evidence is found, and they're willing to update their belief if that happens. They don't hold the belief as sacred. The trajectory of the present. Well, if you believe in the Garden of Eden, then obviously we're in a fallen state. Uh, things are going downhill, or at least have gone downhill. The forward-looking person, they see that we're making progress, that things are going up, and that Today, there's less hunger, a better shelter, a longer lifespan than there was even 100 years ago. So they see the trajectory is going up and not down. As to Earth's future, a lot of uh, backward believers, again, putting this in the Christian context, believe that Jesus is coming soon, even within their lifetime. And when he does, the good will go to heaven, the evil will go to hell, and the Earth will be destroyed. Um, the forward-looking person expects Earth to exist for billions of years more, although climate change may make it less hospitable to human life. Sexuality. Well, the backward-looking religious person often believes that sex is only between a man and a woman, and ideally sex should occur only when conception is possible. The main purpose of sex is procreation. As an aside, cats and dogs also act as if they believe that sex is only uh, permissible when conception, at least the female does. The female is only interested in sex when uh, conception is possible. Uh, the forward-looking person realizes that uh, sex can be uh, taken to excess and it can injure a person, but within the bounds of a balanced sane sexuality, sex is for the expression of love and intimacy, and procreation is its secondary purpose, especially in light of the earth being overpopulated and straining to uh, support the people it has now. As to punishment, well, people are either good or evil, and evil people should be punished. And conditions in prison aren't too concerning because they're a lot better than what those evil people are going to experience in hell. For forward-looking people, they realize the people aren't good or evil, but they sometimes do good things and sometimes do evil things. And they believe as far as possible, prisons should be places that salvage lives, not destroy them. Xenophobia. Well, if there are a lot of evil people in the world, and especially with an ethnic group you're not familiar with, it's hard to tell the good from the bad, it's probably best to avoid and suspect people in different ethnic groups. Besides, they're probably inferior to us anyway, especially if we're saved and they're not. For forward-looking people, the world contains a wealth of cultures, ideas, and fascinating people, just like it has a wealth of different foods. And we all have more in common than not. The economic spectrum. Well, just as God is way above the angels who are above us, some people are above other people, financially speaking. The world is filled with evil people who just want to freeload off the rest of us so they can watch TV and do drugs and sex all day. For the forward-looking person, well, all people are worthy. Now, some people's creations or inventions improve our lives, and those people should be rewarded. It's a win-win situation. They've improved our lives. We should reward them. But the economic floor should be high enough so that everyone, 
is decent food, clothing, shelter, and medical services. That's just basic humanity. Expertise. Well, the backward-looking person also often believes their peers, famous people, politicians, uh, movie stars, and internet memes, and they distrust experts in science. Forward-looking people generally trust those whose background, education, and expertise seems to merit that trust, and they generally trust science. Politically, backward-looking people generally believes things were better in the good old days when people knew their place. Forward-looking believes existing institutions should be improved or replaced to better serve humanity and are not opposed to change. There's something called functional magnetic resonance imaging, and it can show what part of the brain is active. And when an area of the brain is in use, blood flow to that region increases. And this article I found is in the context of the teen brain, but I would read it in the context of the underdeveloped brain. Now it's normal for a teen who's still growing to have um, a highly developed amygdala, which is closer to the more primitive centers of the brain as I understand it, and their prefrontal cortex, which is the rational part and which is in charge of good judgment, is not so developed yet. That often develops later after the teen years. It says here that teens are often ruled by feelings rather than thinking. And as, as I say, I don't mean to put teens down. It's the normal part of development. But if someone in their 30s, 40s, 50s are still ruled by their amygdala and has an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex, maybe that's why they look backwards rather than frontwards. Maybe that's a physiological reason. And maybe not. This is speculation. I believe there's some truth to this, but I'd like to see this examined and either verified or refuted. Um, thank you for listening.